What's up everybody? Welcome back. I know it's been a long awaited, I think six weeks I've been in Florida. I probably should have addressed that in the last video, but I kind of just left everybody high and dry and didn't uh, tell anybody where I was going. But I'm back in California now. I got Mikey over here. We're uh, pretty much just picking up where we left off. Yeah, not much has changed the bike. We just got, uh, we got, Mikey had some wheels or some tires mounted on the wheels while I was gone. I got this box that I'm very excited to show you guys what is inside of there. And what else? Oh, we got brake parts. We're probably gonna put some brake or some of the parts together for the brake system, um, and just kind of tie up all the loose ends. Um, Mikey's mounting the radiators right now, so hopefully we can get the radiators on, and then hopefully start it or after the gas tank goes on too. But start it and bleed the cooling system. There's two reasons I want to do that. One, to make sure that the wiring harness that we did in the last video is hooked up correctly, which I don't think it is hooked up incorrectly. It's just like, I really want to make sure of that. And then we're just one step closer really to, to firing it up when all the parts are on the bike. So we have a little bit of time before the bike's completely built. So I'd really like to have that cushion if we need it to, to address any issues that are, you know, out there. But for now, we're just going to keep tinkering on this thing and, and putting the remaining parts on it before we get suspension and all the big parts and then finally do a, we kind of have some big news in the future. I don't want to talk about too much about it right now, but it's really exciting. I can't wait to share it. Okay. We got the radiators on and the hose clamps all done up. Um, now we got a funnel. <laughs> funnel and, uh... Hope we don't spill anything because all of our coolant is in here. We don't have any coolant. So we're going to reuse the old stuff, which is not, advised but it would work good is if we had a ratio right there's a two-stroke app <laughs> oh we do need a ratio. do we have a ratio right i swear i have a ratio oh, right somewhere you do. oh perfect thanks rich <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're gonna ratio right or we're gonna pour the coolant into the ratio right and then pour it into there oh we got two. Oh, prime time we're dialed there's mechanics over here okay so we reevaluated. we were gonna put the tank on first because if we fill up the radiators, there's a thermostat on this bike, so fill up the radiator and it doesn't drink all the coolant, then um, we need to heat it up in order to open up the thermostat in order to, I guess, get coolant throughout the whole system. So I'm going to put the tank on, which is good news because that means in a little bit we're going to start it. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start, uh, start, what's the word I'm looking for? Start yeah, we'll start bleeding the coolant. <laughs> we'll start bleeding the coolant. <laughs> Okay, tank's all on, and to not piss off my neighbors, we're going to put the, put the exhaust on before we start it. I remember from one of the older episodes, this you can actually hold with one hand. <laughs> it's not a torpedo. Yeah. Do the honors, brother. Lighter weight. Oh, Do we have the header on tight? I think the header's on tight enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't there spacers that go right here? I don't know. Be in here. Damn, what kind of exhaust baffle? Seems so sweet. Again, this is for the 450X. I, it, Yoshimura doesn't make a 450L exhaust. And not a 450L application. It's a 450X. The last bolt. Oh, we need to do the, the pipe clippy thingies too? Yeah. Do you have a spring cord? Uh, I think it came with one. Yeah, right here. Reaching. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> Springs are ingenious for exhaust. Yeah, if they're hard mounted, they just destroy themselves. Here we got the full system mounted. You got another one? Look at that polish job by Cole. Don't polish the radiators, bro. Got the radiators too, looking shiny. Cool. Grab a. Grab this. I feel like we should check this header. I don't remember tightening it. It was a month ago. Looks like a 10. Oh, 
Oh, there's uh, their spring up front too. Oh uh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Maybe that's what was missing. Shiny. This thing takes a second to focus, huh? Yeah. They weren't? Oh. I knew it. <laughs> we just put it on for show. Yeah. This one you need to open it, huh? Big moment right here. Pipes all on. Uh, battery is reconnected. Where's Kickstarter? The Kickstarter is uh, nowhere to be found, but let's see if she fires up. Woo. Okay, so I'm just gonna start it and then turn it off because it has no coolant right now, but that'll give us an indication. No, that doesn't do anything. She's alive. <laughs> nice work. I mean, we successfully <laughs> tore a bike to the ground and rebuilt it and it still starts. Yep. This is somewhat of an accomplishment. Looking good. All right, we're gonna put some coolant in this thing and then we'll uh, start her up again and then get a... Uh, we'll probably film the bleeding some... process because it... Yeah. This, these have a thermostat right here, somewhere, right there. So basically it doesn't, it's gonna drink some coolant and then it'll open the thermostat and then it'll start drinking more coolant as the engine temperature gets hotter. So we need to do that before, not really before we do anything else. Let's do it. We got our stuff over here, so we're gonna get into it. Okay, so we filled up the radiator. I didn't film it because it's kind of, um, I don't know, a tedious task where you like really have to pay attention to where the level's at and when it's heating up, make sure it doesn't boil, which it kind of did. Um, and then, I don't know, there's just a lot going on, so I didn't film it, but coolant is in the bike. Um, obviously, you saw us start it, and now we're gonna, oh, we're gonna open that box. So I'm gonna go grab something to open the box with and show you guys. I got these right before I left for Florida, so six weeks ago. And literally, they showed up as I was leaving for the airport. And I didn't open them just so I could unbox these things for you guys. So, you're welcome. Got here. Package from Throttle Jockey, right? Yeah, Throttle Jockey. So, these are kind of inspired actually by, by uh, my teammate, Kenny's. Uh, the San Diego replica or, uh, military bike. So I really like the colorway on them. So I did kind of the same. I did more of a gray instead of, I think these were like more tan. So they just kind of grayed out all the blue that's typically on our bikes. And then- um, Use some black on the CRF. Yeah, black instead of and white and blue. And then we just did a gray background. Kind of the theme of this bike sick. is blacked out. So I think it's gonna look sweet when we get them all mounted up in the seat cover. with the rest of yeah, it. That's dope. I actually forgot they made me a seat cover, so thank you guys. I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I love doing seat covers. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Sick. So are they gonna get to see these on the plastics or what? Are we waiting? I'm gonna put the shrouds on, I think, right now, just to kind of see what they look like. But we have a pretty big, like, let's call it an event sketch on for the bike <laughs> to where you can see the whole thing, so I don't want to release too much details until we get more details on that. But I want to, I want to see how they look out. I'm just really excited that you guys can see it. So I think I'm gonna throw these these shrouds on at least, just to kind of see how it looks with the with the black frame and, and the rest of the um, powder coated and anodized parts that we've done so far. We'll give them a little sneak peek with the stock shroud. We put one of them on there just to give you guys a little peek. But uh, yeah. See the wheels in the background, stock seat. This thing turned out pretty insane. I'm pretty stoked. Graphics look awesome. And this side, same thing. Got the seat mocked up. I haven't taken the seat cover off yet, but I'm gonna do that another day. Um, but yeah, got a lot done today. 
obviously graphics and then um coolant put the radiator and, and gas tank on and a lot of miscellaneous stuff but uh, i'm slowly getting there and, and making progress so i'm stoked about that i know again i'm sorry i have waited so long to make another video but uh again i was in florida for five weeks so blame it on that and uh yeah but i'm gonna close the video out here i just want to show you guys real quick what it looked like with some of the graphics on i'm not going to show what it's going to look like with all the graphics on yet i might let me know if you guys would go because i kind of want to do like a launch party type thing kind of open invite if it gets enough interest then it might happen and kind of put this thing on display and have you guys check it out in person so let me know again comment if you don't already follow me on instagram follow mikey follow bleach design works and uh, i'm gonna make another video next week and i'll throw it up but uh thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time I, I, I